The Yukon Huskies have continued to suffer from the injury bug this season, with Olivia Nelson Adoda and Caroline Ducharme being the latest victims to fall to it. Over the last four games, with these two girls out, someone on Yukon has needed to step up and answer the call to keep the offense rolling over, and no one has done that better than AZ Futt. AZ has become the go-to player and star force Yukon has desperately needed, and in turn, her more consistent star level play is allowing her to break out into a legitimate freshman superstar we've been all waiting to see since November. So, in today's video, I want to take a deeper look into AZ's recent progression, dive into the footage and stats of her past few games to see what she's doing differently, and overall understand the things she's now doing that's allowed her to evolve into this start of a player for the Huskies as of late. Before we start, if you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe for more women's basketball content like this. I'd love to reach 2,000 subscribers on this channel by March, so all support would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, with that being said, let's talk about AZ FUD. Through AZ's past 4 games, she scored 20 plus points on 3 occasions, including a 29 point outing in the game against Villanova. These 4 games have seen AZ get a spike in opportunity, with an average of 28 minutes per game increasing to 38 minutes in this recent stretch. This has enabled her to get a lot more shots and opportunities to create offensively, resulting in her shooting a season-high 20 field goal attempts against Villanova the other day. Aside from her poor shooting game against DePaul, which I'll cover a bit later, because it did reveal something very important with AZ, she's been phenomenal being able to create at a much higher level on all three areas of the court than we've seen throughout this season. It's extremely promising signs for UConn as we get closer to March, as the impact AZ could make behind a healthy Paige Beckers could lift the Huskies into a championship matchup. But enough of the stats for now. Let's take a dive into the footage of AZ Fudd's recent games and see how she's making an impact for the Huskies, resulting in her breakout into stardom. The biggest thing that I've noticed in these recent games from AZ is her increased intent to do something with the ball, whether that's shooting less hesitantly, putting down the ball and attacking the basket, or trying to create opportunities with off-ball cuts and screens. Earlier in the season, AZ has appeared timid, passing up wide open looks and not actively searching for the ball or, or her own shot. She's overall lacked confidence. It's become obvious though that AZ Fudd is far better and more efficient and impactful with her touches when she puts the ball down and attacks with cuts, drives, etc. Rather than merely just being a spot up shooter. And we can see a lot of that by comparing Fudd's last two games her 24-point dominance versus Marquette and her lackluster 4 points against DePaul. As you can see here in these clips from the Marquette game, AZ has sharp intention to do something with the ball once she gets it. Whether that's a quick fire release from 3 without hesitation, or a drive like this where she attacks the basket putting the ball on the floor which draws in multiple defenders because of her gravity, she can free up Christian Williams in the corner for a wide open jumper. These kind of plays display the IQ and shot creation abilities Fudd has, and it's something I'm glad to see she's starting to utilize more regularly. It's something we saw at the beginning of the DePaul game as well. Though she missed a couple of these shots, AZ was confident in her shot to start the DePaul game, including a tough pull-up mid-range jumper in transition that indicated she might be in for another big night. However, after a couple of bad misses, AZ's confidence slipped, and she started to lose that intent to score. On a lot of the following possessions, she'd camp in the corner, not moving off the ball as frequently to get herself involved in the play. This, of course, resulted in less opportunities to score and chances to find her groove again, making it harder for her to have an impact on the game. Even when she wasn't hitting shots to start the DePaul game, 
you could still see the positive impact she was having on offense just by being an outside threat by shooting without hesitation and searching for the ball off ball. That was really messing up DePaul's defense. There was so much concentration on her, so not only did it create opportunities for herself, but her teammates as well. When she kind of stopped that in the second half, though UConn remained in control, it hurt AZ's impact on the match. The other three games in this recent stretch, whether that's Marquette, Villanova, or Tennessee, show how great she can be when she keeps up that level of intent for a full 40 minutes, and I'm sure you can see it in the Marquette highlights I'm showing you now. AZ creating off the dribble and not just limiting herself to catch and shoots is something I hope to see from her more often, because it's something that elevates her into the status of being not only one of the best freshmen in the country, but also one of the best players in the nation too. To put it simply, with Ducharme and Ono out, AZ was forced to be more aggressive with her possessions, looking to score more frequently rather than playing timid as UConn needed that offensive weapon to win these past games. That allowed her to go off and have the best stretch of her collegiate career so far, outside of the DePaul game of course. And it's proven to AZ what she needs to do moving forward to make the highest possible positive impact for this Husky squad, even when Paige and the rest of the injured girls come back. When she was passive in the DePaul game, she struggled and had a limited impact on the final results. When she was in the attack and score at all cost mindset in the other three matches, she looked like a top three freshman in the entire NCAA W. UConn need her playing like that more regularly because it's going to elevate this team from being a solid championship contender to being the best team in the nation by far. And that is something they can't miss out on after the tumultuous season that they've had. Finally, I'll go over some stats to emphasize my point. Shout out to the great Yukon reporter Alexa Philippou on Twitter. I got these numbers from her and they really help get my point across. As I mentioned before, AZ became more aggressive when Deshaun went out with injury. This is evident as in her first three games back from injury, where Dusham also played, Fudd was averaging seven shots a game. In the four games since that though, when Dusham has been out, Fudd is averaging 15.5 field goal attempts per game. That's over double the number of shot attempts, and while I don't expect it to remain like this when the other stars come back, I hope it's something that consistently remains above 10 to 12 shots a game throughout the rest of the season. That's how AZ makes her most impact and has her best game. That's when she gets flowing. When she shoots over 10 times a game, she averages just under 20 points a night. And if you exclude the 4 point game, it's around 22 points a night. So it's clear to me that the more shots she gets, the higher her volume, the higher impact she can make for UConn, even as a secondary option. AZ Fudd has also proven to be the queen of the fourth quarter for the Huskies this season. The fourth quarter struggles were real to begin the season for UConn, averaging just 15.6 fourth quarter points in the first 15 games of the season. Since AZ returned, that's jumped to 22.6. AZ is the reason why that improvement has happened by the way, as she's the most productive UConn fourth quarter player so far this season, averaging 7.3 points in the final term. AZ turns it on when the pressure is on in those tight games and ensures that UConn closes out the match. These stats in my eyes just prove to me the kind of impact AZ has been making as of late. And it's something that we shouldn't overlook because if she's able to enhance the things I've said she's great at today, there's a good chance she becomes one of UConn's greats. Overall, AZ Fudd is starting to develop into a phenomenal player for the Huskies as she's starring on a more consistent basis, and when she actively tries to create her own shot, she's able to impact the game in ways that only positively boost this Husky squad. We've seen that through the past two weeks, and the stats are backing that up. We'll just have to wait and see now how much better things get for her and Yukon when Paige, Caroline, and Olivia come back, because things are going to be extremely scary when they're all playing at the highest level. But yeah, AZ is breaking out right now, and hopefully her confidence can stay high so this continues into the March Madness tournament. And that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? What are your thoughts on AZ Fudd's recent play? Do you agree with my analysis? Let me know all your thoughts 
down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.